Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com. This is Jason Chats. Um, so basically, this is this the Lulu is a vlog, and it's probably only going to be available to watch pretty much on my website. Possibly on Vimeo, but not on YouTube, not on Facebook. Uh, so it's just I might I might upload it on Facebook for a while for so people get to know that I'm doing them again. But it's going to be available on my website. I'm smoking. However, I think I've got three more cigarettes left that are ready rolled that I rolled up myself. That I rolled, yeah, that I rolled. Anyway, basically what I did is I rolled enough cigarettes to last me till the end of Tuesday, but I've managed to smoke most of them. So tonight is the last time I smoke. So when those three, this is the fourth, or this is the first, I run out, that's it, I'm not smoking anymore. So there. Um, I don't smoke regularly in a sense of, I kind of started smoking last summer and well actually I started smoking probably a couple of years ago but or a year and a half ago, I don't know, but just but only the odd one. Generate, generate, you know, just the odd one. Didn't buy them, and last summer I started buying them, and I, I think I was going through a must have been going through a, a low period or something. I can't remember. Anyway. Um, smoking for a few months then I stopped then I started again then I stopped and a couple of weeks ago I stopped for a week and then I started again and I'm gonna stop again tonight or early hours of the morning whatever so and I know I can and it's not that difficult just a couple of days of relative discomfort Not really physical, more mental, wanting, greed. Yeah. But once that's done, I'll be fine by Wednesday. So, what's the latest with moi? So, here we go. Um, I have not been doing wonderfully if I'm honest not been doing great but on some levels I'll be doing all right so I've been working on my website excuse me again I'm drinking coke but I'm gonna give up coke today as well tonight I'm gonna to give up chocolate and cakes Probably not biscuits, but you know I want to eat a lot of biscuits. But I'm going to give up most of the stuff like with, sh with sugar in and stuff. I'm probably not going to be drinking coffee or tea as well because I have sugar in that. The idea that behind this is it's not really about weight so much. Well, it is, but it's about more fat. It's <laughs> it's more about I have high cholesterol and I saw the doctor on Thursday and the doctor said so the doctor said uh, if you don't reduce your cholesterol level 
in three months time when you have another blood test and if it's still high you have to go on to medication or you may have to go on medication and I said to her surely you shouldn't be smoking Get out. that's yours on smoking so I need to reduce my cholesterol what's weird and I'm not a biologist or anything what I don't understand is if I got cholesterol and she's worried that my bowels could get blocked, clogged. All right, Andre. Then, if they were clogged, my blood pressure would not be perfect. And my blood pressure is always perfect, always has been, right from when I was a kid. I've always had a slow pulse, I've always had really good blood pressure. Even when I've gone to the doctor, I've had panic attacks, my blood pressure is still, maybe not in the moment, but uh, generally my blood pressure is always perfect. Even when I've gone to the hospital thinking I was having a heart attack, but it was a panic attack. Uh, blood pressure, always good. And I've been checked, because I'm in the mental, with the mental health team, I get checked every year, I have to have a full medical, I guess they're checking because of the medication I'm on and making sure that I'm all right, like physically. And apart from the cholesterol, I'm doing all right. When I went to the doctor, when I went to have my medical in December, I had stopped smoking. Um, I don't drink alcohol at all now. Haven't done for, I can't remember the last time I had alcohol. Don't drink. And I thought I'd lost weight. I felt slimmer, but it turned out that I, I think I might have lost a little bit of weight, but not as much as I thought. I thought I might have gotten locked off a stone or something, but I was still coming in at 14 and a half stone or something like that. So I was a bit 15 stony. I don't know, I was still a bit annoyed. It was like 98 kilos. However, God, this is boring, isn't it? But anyway, however. When I got weighed, on Thursday, I'm 92 kilos. So I've lost six kilos since December. So I have lost weight. Andre, stop fighting. So, you know, that's all right. But when I was there, so the rest of the things they check, they check for blood, uh, in the blood, um, seems to be fine. I got tested for diabetes and all that stuff, and I'm fine, I've got none of that. And um, I asked the doctor, I said to the doctor that, um, both my uncles have had prostate cancer. And I thought, well, maybe I should get tested. I'm, moving towards 50, I'm 48 in August, and I thought maybe I should get tested, and but I don't like the idea of someone putting a hand up my ass. So, I put it off. There was one point, a couple of years back, when the doctor, I, I was having problems, and the doctor was actually gonna give me a prostate exam, and I really felt ill as I was, you know, heading towards the doctors on that day, so I've really got an issue, I don't, don't like the idea of it. And, oh, about six years ago, a doctor said if you had a prostate exam, and it was, uh, wasn't my regular doctor, because my regular doctor wasn't there that day, and I was going in for depression actually, and she said, have you had a prostate exam? I said, no. She said, well, perhaps you need one. I said, oh, okay you know, because of my age and stuff. And she said, but I, I'm not going to do it. Though. You have to see a regular doctor. So she really, it's like, I wanted her to do it then because she didn't want to do it. It's like something about like the fact that she was so disgusted at going near my anus. I kind of thought, well, you're a doctor. You're supposed to not be squeamish about stuff like that. I kind of wanted a prostate exam. Even though I don't want a prostate exam. I was kind of a bit annoyed. I was annoyed I was. 
but um, also I found it quite funny. So the reason I asked about the prostate exam is because Stephen Fry, he's a English comedian, uh, I think he's famous worldwide, I don't know, but he recently been diagnosed with prostate cancer, or he's recently uh, publicly acknowledged that he's been going through treatment. And he, I, I just listened to a thing, you know, online and on the ra radio and stuff, and they said that you can get tested with a blood test. You don't have to be someone's puppet, basically. So I was like, okay, because he was saying a lot of people get deterred from, you know, having the prostate exam because I don't want to that. I just don't want to go through that procedure. You know, it's because uh, it's a personal thing. So I know it's yeah, it's just not everyone's into it, are they? So um, I went to the doctor and said, "I'm interested in getting my prostate tested. Can I have a blood test to do that?" And she said, and she she got all like frowny on me. Mm. She didn't make that mo that noise, but it was a bit like that. And I said, "Well, why? What's what's wrong?" What's wrong? She said, she said, uh, we don't, the blood test is not of any use. And I said, what do you mean? I've, you know, it's being publicly put out there that you can have a blood test for this. So either you can or you can't. And she said, you can have a blood test and it could tell you that there might be something wrong with your prostate. That's all it will tell you. Or there might it might be inflamed. It might so if it's in if it comes up as it's inflamed, you still have to have. You still need to be probed. And basically, and and I said, well, what's the alternative? She said, well, usually people come in because of symptoms. You know, do you have any symptoms? I said, what, 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 what? And she said, well, basically the symptoms are uh, if you've got excessive bladder, like going to the toilet a bit more than normal, much more than normal, or getting up at night and going to the toilet, well, my toiletry habits are exactly the same pretty much as I've been for years, and I've always got up at least once, generally once a night I get up to go for a wee wee, and I have done for many, many, what's that? Oh my goodness, a bit of chocolate on the top of my head, how did that get there? And, oh yeah, I had Andre. He was on top of my head earlier. I hope it's chocolate. Hmm. Anyway, I I said no. My 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 wee wee is just normal. Just I just been weeing as standard. Nothing unusual. No blood. That's another thing. Look for apparently. Um, but that could be many different things. I said no. We're fine. She said, okay, well, and I was relieved because I think we were both relieved at the same time. I, I'm not sure who is most disgusted at the idea of me having a prostate exam. Um, me or her, I, I think it was her, actually. I think she really didn't like the idea of it. I know I didn't like the idea of it, but is such an intimate thing isn't it to me it's kind of I know it's not it's not the same thing but I know it's not the same thing but for me that would be like the only way you could test for testicular cancer is by masturbating the person I know that some people would get tested every week, but I, I, I'm not one of those people. So I don't, you know, I wouldn't have to go. To, I don't want to go into doctors and have them masturbate me to see whether I've got prostate, um, you know, testicle, ball cancer. So at the same time, I don't want my anus being, um, I don't know, surgically caressed. I don't know, however you want to put it, uh, you know, um, medically caressed. 
I don't want, didn't really feel that way. I mean, it's different if it's with someone, if it's with a girlfriend, and you know, you know, I don't want to go into all that stuff. I'm just saying it's a different thing. It's a there's emotions involved. <laughs> oh god. Also, if I'm honest, two things that would worry me if I had a prostate exam. Well, two things. Either I'd hate it or I loved it. That that would be the two things that would be. But like, apart from that, is what if I pooed everywhere, like redecorated the wall? I just, that would worry me. Put a, put a hand out there. I just exploded that because I'd be nervous and I possibly couldn't go to the toilet for a while before going in there because I'd be like oh. the opposite to that that would be that I got excited which again would be wouldn't probably be as bad as the the um You know, the other thing was a dirty protest. That wouldn't be as bad as that, but it would be, um, that would be worrying. And also I'd be kind of a bit worried about what, what they would say, what the doctor would say during the prostate exam. You know, if they, like, oh, there's just, there's so much room in here. It's so roomy. I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I would just imagine if they said that, it'd be, oh. So yeah, so I haven't had a prostate exam, not not by a doctor, and um, not by a doctor. It sounds like it was a school teacher did it once, and no, nothing like that. I've never never had a prostate exam, but it's no, but but nothing. So basically. That's all that's go, <laughs> going on with me at the moment. Prostates. Been working on my website. Been trying to organise. I've been mean, working quite hard on what I'm able to on the podcasts. Getting the podcasts all organised and, excuse me, promoted and trying to get the um, the website more um, organised as well. And I've been, yes... Lots of stuff I've been doing. It's it's good. It's very time consuming, which is fine, I guess. But it's uh, laborious, repetitive, you know that kind of stuff. A bit like being in a relationship. It's it's very you know very samey. Very uh, need need a break from this, you know. That kind of, you know, you know what I mean. So, the plan is, well, I've been doing my hypnotic buffets every Monday. I release them, and I've got a special podcast just for the hypnotic buffets, and you can see that on my website. Also, the hypnotic buffets I also upload into my main podcast, and it's uploaded to my website as well every every week under the free hypnosis mp3s so there yeah um i don't know what i'm going to do with these hip the hip bleh, whatever these are jason chats i guess it's just a, it's a blog in it ultimately it's just me as a blog and it's cheap it's just it saves time writing i can't be asked to write anything and so this this is just it so what I'll do is probably do a regular one of these. I don't know how often, either every day or every week or every month. I don't know. I'll upload them onto Vimeo and then I will um, embed the video into my website. And there should be a specific place on there which says Jason Chats in the menu. I've not done that yet, but I shall still do that. Oh. So, I wish everyone happiness and wellness, and I'm going to go. So, 
next time I make a video, I will be a non-smoker. Healthy, happy, non-smoker. Oh yeah, oh man, uh, before I go to tell you, I had two days where I had these uh, messages sent to me. One day I had a message sent to me on Twitter saying, went onto your podcast, something like that, um, went onto your podcast, listened, and what a pile of shite, you should really get yourself a day job. Okay. And then the next day, I got a message saying that someone had started listening to my podcasts. Not on Twitter, this is uh, on my website, I think, or on one of the podcasts. And it's saying that they'd slept for the first time in ages, and they slept all the way through for the last two days, and they were thanking me. So isn't it weird, like one really horrible message and one really nice message? So yeah, I share them all though on Facebook. I'll never get a message. Even if it's a horrible one, because I just I find it interesting how people I don't know if they get pleasure. If someone gets pleasure for saying something nasty to a stranger, because I'm a stranger to that person, and it seems weird. I don't quite get it. I don't quite get it. But anyway, there you go. When I did get a message, I did react internally. I won't lie to you. But luckily, I was able to walk away from it. I was able to put the laptop top down and not respond to them, uh, but also not to go into some kind of a meltdown thing where I'd de destroy my work and delete websites and get rid of videos and get rid of podcasts and stuff like that that I've done in the past. So I managed to, you know, wake up the next day and everything was still intact. Everything but my, my self-respect. But I never read that to start with, so I'm cool. So you take care. And I burnt my finger. Mm. I put it on my cold can of Coke tin. Um, oh, I did see something funny on the news yesterday is in Afghanistan and there's this big hoo hurrah because this Afghanistan couple, man and a woman, wife and husband, living in Afghanistan, named their new baby Donald Trump. And apparently they've been ostracized by their community, by their family and had to move home and it's been all, all up in the air. And the father who named his child Donald Trump, I'm guessing it's a boy, and was saying, actually he was interviewed and he was saying how, how much he respected Donald and how he uh, believed in his political views and he was a big fan. And yeah, that's, that's the end of that story. Just thought I'd share it in case you didn't know about it. Google it so you know that I'm not lying. All right. I'm gonna go. See you later. Remember my my website is jasonnewland.com. But hey, you're probably watching this on that website, so you don't really need to me to tell you that. But it's always handy to know when where to come back to. See you later. Bye.